All right, so we just finished the animatronic experimenters kit part two. This is what it looks like. What are the different pieces? Uh, um, this is the, the cylinder, and that is the flow controller, the valve. And this is what we made to connect it mm -hmm. to our air system. Yeah, and I'll be showing you how it works. Okay. So see this button right here? That button? Mm hmm Okay. Press it, and it moves this. Okay, show us again. See, it, can't, it doesn't have to go like that. You can adjust it. So if I loosen it, Okay. Like now let's you. see. Wait, before you loosen the other one, let's see which side that is on. It's not good. So when you loosen that side, mm -hmm. this makes it go in super fast. Yes. So what happens when you loosen this side? And makes let more it go, air. Makes it go out. Loosen it up. Okay. Okay, let's see. That's super fast. I don't think you want it to be like that. Why? What happens when then you, you don't have, have control of it? Then you'll have a Chuck E. Cheese character. Oh. And then if you right. tighten it, then it does the opposite of what I just showed you. Nice and precisely that yeah. way. All Looks right. a lot better. We look forward to the next video of the animatronic experimenters kit. All right, hey Aaron. So we just finished the animatronic experimenters kit part three video, and look what we made. Made the talking head. If you want to see the back of it, right now I'm manually controlling it. And we might have used the zip tie right here to kind of compress the back yeah, of it. the spring to get the head to come backwards so it sat nice and nice and up without using the air lines. You having fun off this? Yeah, this is awesome. Alright, we're ready for the next video. Thanks, Aaron.